Hi right, guys, Louis here. How are you doing? It's been a while. Um, had a few life things going on. Obviously, moved house. Um, nice and bright now. So hopefully the video quality will be a lot better. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to create this sort of CRT monitor effect on your text and graphics. I'll pop an example on screen here. This is the before and the after. So as you can see, it creates this nice sort of vintage screen grain effect. If you are new around here and you aren't already subscribed, then make sure you are subscribed to the channel and give the video a like because it does help. I'm gonna try and smash it this year. Been a bit slack recently, but I am back on it. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of the future videos. Um, but yeah, let's get involved. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open up a brand new Photoshop file. I've just created a random A4 size. Create the specs to whatever you want, whether you're doing this for print or screen or whatever. Uh, but I'm just creating a random file just for the purposes of this video. And then you're gonna to wanna to create a solid black background. Drag that to the bottom. And whilst your background is in, you're then gonna to wanna to import your text or your graphics. For today's video, I'm gonna be using the ACG logo. I've been messing around with it recently and I um, thought it looked nice when this effect was applied so I thought I'd give it a go today. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is go to our imported text or graphics and make sure that it is a smart object. Now what this is gonna allow us to do is basically come back at any point later on down the line and uh, change our graphic or text if we want to and it'll update all of the effects that we apply to it. So basically it makes it easier and also if you wanna come back at a later date add in different graphics, you can basically use this as a template. So now we've converted our logo to a smart object. What we're gonna to wanna to do is press Command and J to make a duplicate of that layer and then go to the blending modes and create our color overlay. So what we're gonna to wanna to do effectively is have a slightly darker shade to the bottom left of the graphic and a slightly lighter shade of the color to the top right of the graphic. For this, I'm gonna go for a sort of bluey color, but you can experiment at home with whatever color scheme you wanna go for. So for the darker color, I wanna go for a darker blue, maybe slightly purple, so it's a little bit more muddy. Like so. And then just shift it to the left a little bit and shift it down a little bit. Drag it to the back. And then we're gonna to wanna to select the layer, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and zoom in on here and just create a nice little blur. 15 should be good. You just want a nice little glow on the outside, nothing too crazy, but we can go back at any point and change these colors if they don't really work effectively. So what you're gonna now wanna do is press Command J again to make a duplicate of what you've just made and shift that up to the top right. And then go to the color overlay here, double click, and we can change that to a lighter color of the blue. So now you've got your logo and you've got a slightly darker blue on the bottom left and a slightly lighter blue glow on the right. So we're now going to want to add a little bit of a glow behind. Um, so to add this, what we can do is duplicate our top layer, go to blending options again and create an outer glow like so. So these are the options that I was using before. Opacity 26, noise 0%, spread 26, size 218 pixels. You can just copy these ones on screen, uh, but feel free to play around. I might just make this a little bit bigger, but this is basically gonna be the glow that's on the screen. Press okay. And we're gonna drag that one to the back of our logos, like so. We're now gonna wanna select all of our logos, right click, convert to a smart object. So now they're on an isolated layer, you can turn off the background and you can see that they're there. You can now go back and change any of the settings that you previously had, any of the colors. I'm actually gonna nip back into this layer and I think I'm gonna change the back glow color to a really pale blue. I think it will just work well with the blues that I've selected. Really, really pale, like so. Press OK and then you can just save and go back to your original layer and it will apply there. Cool, so now you wanna actually add the screen effect. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna create this ourselves. So if we create a new document, we're gonna to want to make sure that the size is in pixels. We're gonna set the width to 11 pixels and the height to eight pixels. Press okay and create, like so. And then we're gonna to wanna to zoom in. So what we're gonna do now is create those sort of RGB little bands um, that you see close up on one of these CRT monitors. I don't know if you as a kid just like stared really close to a TV screen, um, but you could actually see the RGB. That's how old I am. Back in the day, that's, that's what I had. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna create a three by nine, oh, three by nine box like so. So it sits nicely in the middle and we can actually round those edges off. Put that to six. So you've got your first one there and we want to create RGB. So what we want to do is press Command J again and then we can shift this over next to it and we can change that to a blue color like so. 
and then press command J again and drag it over to the end and change that to a green color. So we've got the three bands here and what we want to do basically is create this as a pattern that we can then overlay in the file that we created earlier. So to do this, what we can do is we have edit, define pattern and just name it CRT screen. Press OK, and then we're going to want to go back to our main file. So we created that little sort of banding pixel effect, and what we're going to want to do is basically create a script that's going to make this as a pattern that fills the screen. So to do this, we can create a new layer, and then go to Edit, Fill. Make sure you select Pattern from the drop down up here, and then you can select the one that you just created in the Custom Pattern little drop down here, and then you want to tick Script and Brick Fill. So what this is going to do is going to basically automate it for you so it creates it as a sort of layered brick and um, if you press OK you'll be able to edit this. Again feel free to copy the effects directly off the screen because that's what I created earlier and I thought it worked uh, but you can actually play around with this so you can play around with you know the scale of the pattern so that's basically how big these little bands are going to be uh, the space in between them I chose there to be like a little bit of an offset so it sort of does a brick effect but if you don't want that you can turn that off so it sort of does it in columns but feel free to copy these and then press OK. Once that loads, as you can see, it's created a full screen sort of RGB pattern like so that sort of covers the whole artboard. Now, what we want to do is just create this as a clipping mask. So right click on the layer and go down to create clipping mask. And this will just apply this over your glow effect. So as you can see, it's already sort of working. Um, and you can go ahead and play with the sort of blending options on these to get different, different effects. But what I like to do is basically just drop the opacity down to about 70%. And when you're viewing this at 100%, it's very subtle, uh, but you can see it's there. And it does give this sort of overall CRT monitor effect. I'm just going to drop that down to 60. So if you want to take this a little bit further, you can add in these little glitches, these little banding effects over your design. And you can use the selection tool here to just create these little boxes over your smart object and then just do a little shift to the left and what this will do is it just shift out of place slightly and give the illusion of sort of a banding over the monitor screen. So feel free to add in as many of these as you like and then you are all good to go like so. So one thing I did do before I finished was just add a little bit of blur to everything because it's not gonna really be that high quality. These old screens are gonna be a little bit blurry. So I thought this just made it look a little bit more realistic. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed. Very simple, quick, and easy. Uh, just something I've been playing around with recently and thought I would share with you. So if you did like today's video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and uh, drop a little comment if you fancy, fancy doing that. Um, yeah, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you soon with a new one. So take care, and uh, in a bit.